Hello guys. Um, uh, Tempone how to offer a resume video historic uh, Timornia. Uh, Luta Timornia desde 75 by 99. In the video, we have to offer a by the box here, where it commemora Loron historic uh, Joventud de Lorico Asoenia, a who is 28 October 1991. Nomos uh, Loron 12 November Massacre Santa Cruz. Tamnema uh, Garcarhalo video de Ne. Ato ofrece Bazera San Fonsia. Or the Vele student in history, or the Vele apprentice in Botromos history. Nebe how collate a filefale video sira nebe durante the process of Lutania. Nebe you example was in Ministro Negos Trenzero, Portugal, Nebe Lidera Diplomacia Portuguesa, a who is Ministro Negos Trenzero, Duran Barroso, Maitosa Megama. In your name also see processos. Uh, Secretary General Nations Unidas, who is Javier Esperes de Coya, Emma Peru, my to uh, Brutus Brutrugali, Emma Egypto, diplomata Egypto, and my to Kofi Annan, uh, diplomata uh, Ghana. I have a story in the book of the Hare, who is the commemora the Loron Massacre Santa Cruz, the Loron Tragedia Igreja Moderna. I have a car at the book of the Hare, I have a video in the book of the Hare, I have a YouTube channel. Nebe it about several visit my YouTube channel, Francisco Makura. Bele like, no must bele subscribe. The name of Kara of Fresh Tabo, Chira, and how we are most an essay sobrevivente tragedia Iglesia Motel, no mesmo tempo massacre Santa Cruz. Nema how I love video name, or to bele of Fresh Tabo, Ong Sira, of Fresh Tabo, Alin Sira, para bele Harejo, Rita, commemora via commemora. Lorong Masaka Santa Cruz ni ori tani. Antes termina hatu hatete kata. Depois de haus servis te yef kampu diplomatike, hau maito ya Zenebra, lideramos grupu apoyo diplomatik ba Sahara Occidental. En fin, hau refleta kata, itani lutamos las fácil, difícil te ptegues. Nemas Western Sahara, o Sahara Occidental, lo lo sira mak referendo uluk deste ya 1991. Si halo ve, halo akorru Cesas Fogo, o Marocco. Mas enfim, se era a referendo a dia a dia até agora, até estamos comemora a Itania, logo a restauração da independência 20 anos, desses 20 anos, não temos referendo quase 20 anos, e o Sahara Ocidental até agora se afeta o direito a autodeterminações. Então, até a cara até o Vaito Valdez, será que está a luta nela, a fácil. Luta y a nivel todo no es la fácil para tu ver la convención como era internacional o apoyo de resolver este caso Timor Leste o de tan independencia. Y usi frente diplomático, frente clandestina, no más frente armada. Antes taca, how tu agradece va jornalista sira, how culeo inglés. I'd like to pay tribute and thanks to Associated Press that you're covering our the all the events uh, during our struggle since 1975 until 99 then i just saw that uh, your channel that you upload all these videos in your youtube youtube channel in 2015 so that's all i without uh, request uh, permission your permission but i think this is uh, this uh, video is very important you put only separate one by one so uh, i just collecting it and putting in together then uh, we are in the uh, this year we're going to celebrate uh, uh, tragedy of Motayel Church and then also uh, 12th November massacre, 12th November 1991, so that we're going to offer to our young generation to learn our history and so that we can consolidate nationalism and patriotism and then also for them to for the future. So that's all that I would like to say. Thank you very much. Enjoy the video. Obrigado, Barat. <laughs> Amo Papa João Paulo II, mas visita a Timor-Leste. Amo Papa Halomisa e a Tassitolo. Com cuidado, Tebetebes, a tua labela e a tua catac, nem ela reconhece a Indonésia e a soberania, não a labela condena a presença e a nem a nessa presença ilegal. Mas bem, nem reconhece o povo Timor-Uan e o sofrimento, não a sai nem a rohan, no hatoni ni servisu pastoral nian.
Que Mabarak Magmate Salalaik. No mos, que Mabarak sai vítima da violência no ódio e vingança. Jovens Sira, rala demonstração da independência, Pangira, no Serra Mapa. Papa é uma polaca ida, não vemos como um cunho autoritário e a minha rainha raça. Minha bela compreende, não haré catac. Integração com a Indonésia, lá hoje dá lá e pux, tu ir a autoridade e se ir a deixar.
autonomy proposal with the Indonesian amendments, the arrangements for the consultation process to ascertain the view of the Timorese on that proposal, and the agreement reflecting the results of the discussions on those matters will be taken up today. But uh, this negotiation is a difficult one 
there are some little progress and there are some great difficulties. We are working, the Secretary General has been very active for having the agreement. On the Portuguese side, we have the full capacity to sign if it is a good agreement. My recommendation to Shanana was that do sign it, even if the hope for peace to come from this agreement might be light years away, do it, because we do not wish to be accused as not wanting peace. Uh, Madam, I did not understand your question, but uh, exactly um, the way you put it, but uh, what is... Despite all these doomsday scenarios before that, despite uh, all kinds of incidents that took place uh, um, and accusations that were leveled against us, the actual uh, balloting that took place uh, yesterday uh, was free and uh, peaceful and therefore uh, uh, fair. Uh, of course, we are sorry about the death of one uh, worker, UNAMED worker, local staff, uh, who died. Uh, there were also numerous um, reports of uh, other uh, irregularities, some, uh, some fighting, uh, low level, uh, between uh, uh, those who attended the, uh, uh, the uh, balloting. But on the whole, as I said, uh, considering that more than 700 uh, uh, places of uh, balloting uh, participated, everything uh, on the whole went off very smoothly. And uh, I mean, yeah, of course there are. Uh, there have been uh, reports uh, on the media that three people have died, not just one. However, we cannot confirm that. We can only confirm one death. They are all here in Dili. Neither the CNRT nor the UNIF uh, actually applied in time to be accredited party agents. We extended the deadline three times to accommodate them, and still they don't, they did not send in uh, uh, the appropriate requests for credential.
Welcome to, to see the you again. Okay. Hello, Ambassador. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. that the court cannot decide because there is the lack of one party, an indispensable party, precisely Indonesia, because Indonesia does not accept the jurisdiction of the International Court of Justice. I already said it publicly, and I will say it today with my, to my colleague, why does not Indonesia accept the international law? Why does not Indonesia accept the International Court of Justice jurisdiction? So I make a challenge here publicly for Indonesia to accept the International Court of Justice jurisdiction because We are quite confident that uh, uh, our, uh, in the present setup, together with the United Nations, the civilian police, and also the military liaison officers, we can uh, keep the peace. We should keep the peace because Indonesia, the Indonesian government is uh, quite committed to have a peaceful solution and an actual solution to East Timor. We have no interest in uh, having, after the vote, a situation that deteriorates into violence again and would bring us back to the original situation in 1975. I can say that uh uh, the TNI and Indonesian police uh, don't support anything for the militia on this, uh, this case. And uh, uh, we want to, uh, 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 to, uh, uh, to stop the all, uh, I think, all violation or all uh, activity for the both sides to make uh, the situation to become, uh, become worse. They want to shake my hand. 
What we have asked in our discussions yesterday was for the UN to help us in uh, devising a methodology to determine uh, whether the East Timorese have accepted or, or have accepted or rejected our proposed wide-ranging autonomy plan, a methodology short of a referendum which we have always uh, rejected and which we continue to reject. So, this is what Mr. Ambassador Jamshid Marker is trying to devise together with us. It will be a kind of a consulting the views of the East Timorese whether or not they accept our uh, uh, proposed autonomy plan uh, as a solution to the problem. If it is rejected, as I have explained on so many, uh, so many times before, then plan B, so to speak, will come into operation. We will go to our uh, National Assembly and propose a parting of ways. democratic means that we know to ascertain the wish of the people of East Timor is through a referendum under United Nations supervision. sama dan apa yang telah kita lakukan dan akan terus lakukan juga di bidang security itu kita yakin bahwa 
pada waktunya nanti situasinya akan e, bisa dinyatakan kondusif lah bagi ini. What we have asked in our discussions yesterday was for the UN to help us in uh, devising a methodology to determine uh, whether the East Timorese have accepted or, or have accepted or rejected our proposed wide-ranging autonomy plan a methodology short of a referendum which we have always uh, rejected and which we continue to reject. So, this is what Mr. Ambassador Jamshid Marker is trying to devise together with us. It will be a kind of a consulting the views of the East Timorese whether or not they accept our uh, uh, proposed autonomy plan uh, as a solution to the problem. If it is rejected, as I have explained on so many uh, so many times before, then Plan B, so to speak, will come into operation. We will go to our uh, national assembly and propose a parting of ways. The only democratic means that we know to ascertain the wish of the people of East Timor is through a referendum under the United Nations supervision. Last year, pro-independence student demonstrations like this one in Dili yesterday were a common sight in East Timor, as students relished the new freedoms of Indonesia's post-Sahato reformasi. While this showing outside the University of East Timor might be small, it is significant. This is the first time students have dared to so publicly voice their political demands since pro-integration militias went on a campaign of destruction through the streets of Dili two and a half weeks ago. But they are not yet willing to carry this courage outside of the capital. You were scared to go to the villages now because of the militias? Yes, of course. So they travel. Is this very big trouble for us? They stop us, so we not, uh, we will not come in the, come to the village. Of course, it's too dangerous. Very dangerous, and they very hate the students. Yes, they very hate the students. In a show of courage and determination, the people of East Timor turned out in massive numbers to vote in the popular consultation expressing their will as to the future of the territory. The votes cast have now been counted and the Electoral Commission has assessed all outstanding complaints and certified the results of the popular consultation process. Therefore, in fulfilment of the task entrusted to me by the 5th of May agreements, I hereby announce that the result of the vote is 94,388 in favour and 344,580 against the proposed special autonomy. The people of East Timor have thus rejected the proposed special autonomy 
and express their wish to begin a process of transition towards independence. After 24 years of conflict, East Timor now stands on the threshold of what we all hope will be a process of orderly and peaceful transition towards independence. The coming days, however, will require patience and calm from the people of East Timor. I hardly need stress how important it is for leaders to exercise wisdom and reason. Now is the time for all concerned to seize the opportunity to lay a firm and lasting foundation for cooperation and peace and to usher in an era of stability and prosperity for all future generations of East Timorese. He is currently making the following statement to the Security Council on the result of the vote in East Timor. I call upon the government of Indonesia, which made possible the consultation process through a statesmanlike initiative of the President of the Republic to ensure its successful culmination by carrying out its responsibility to maintain law and order in the territory. I should like to thank both Indonesia and Portugal for their commitment and perseverance in this process. I am confident that the governments will fulfill their remaining obligations under the 5th of May agreements. Let me assure both governments that the United Nations will continue to work with them to ensure the implementation of the results of the consultation through a peaceful and orderly process. Let me also assure the people of East Timor that the United Nations will not fail them in guiding East Timor in its transition towards independence. I'm now going to ask my colleagues to read uh, the Secretary General's statement uh, in translation. civilian police to help uh, supervise the forthcoming uh, vote on uh, popular consultation in relation to the uh, independence issue. possible delay to the referendum, but we uh, don't even know that there's going to be a referendum. It's not called that anyway, but uh, I, we discussed the whole series of issues, and I cannot uh, comment anymore until I report to the Secretary General. Kalau, kalau dilihat dari via kita, uh, dilihat dari kesediaan Indonesia untuk bekerja sama dan apa yang telah kita lakukan dan akan terus lakukan juga di bidang security itu kita yakin bahwa pada waktunya nanti situasinya akan e, bisa dinyatakan kondusif lah bagi ini
saya menerima perjanjian itu karena, karena akhirnya eh, dua pemerintah Portugal dan Indonesia ya, dapat menyelesaikan eh, apa, sebuah tahap sejarah yang sulit sejak 83 sampai sekarang. kadang-kadang sikap-sikap radikal itu harus sedikit dilunakkan ya. kita hidup dalam era globalisasi kita hidup dalam dunia demokrasi ya. ada hak untuk menolak tapi di dunia ini banyak ya, masalah itu diselesaikan dengan konsesi-konsesi supaya kita hidup berdampingan bersama-sama and self-determination has taken place 20 years ago and therefore there is no need for a referendum. So, if we want to find a solution, we must find a middle way, we must find somewhere in between these two basic positions. Uh, for us, the point, the important point is self-determination of the people of East Timor. <laughs> But let me just start by saying that we think that was a positive meeting. There were some progress, uh, if, even if we cannot say that was a big progress. Hello? We started to discuss... We agreed to discuss all these issues in conjunction with one another. That means that they are interconnected. As of now, uh, uh, we are at a very uh, early stage, so uh, I really cannot say, I really cannot say uh, what will come out of the talks. Uh, we do believe, however, that uh, now is the time for us to go into substance and to try to, uh, to define a possible uh, framework of solution. Even if we don't have any light in the tunnel, my duty as a Timorese, as a citizen of my country, is to struggle for in, against the oppression, uh, for the freedom of my people, and against a military occupation and a dictatorship that is uh, governing, is occupying my country and my land. <laughs> Fu apoi ba referendum antau difficulty de terreno la don masi de pos kuando tama tia de pro i de pos kuando ataka ne halai keta keta 
y palo tem que bis ne beke preparado bis ne musato ba ne italah ten ne be fahe balo ba o kun rasikan o di independencia ba timor leste ni ne turuna no di ne derivado ne instrumento para atu to demokratizasaun i o kun rasikan ba timor leste ne dala ne maka reformasi ba indonesia referendum ba timor leste autodeterminasaun ba timor leste entao I Hanaba ita tau forsa hamoto ko organ moto hoto organ resistensi sira hoto i mos organ resistensi sampe ki klandestina mai be mos i hal a rai lete na sa depe <hesitation> i na tone sida ukde pepe impetu na rani impetu ita orienta para i depois <hesitation> i fatin hoto ita bela apoi malo ho solidare dare indonesia para reforma te indonesia i hatun tia rezim suarto tempo Hanaba enta wa aktividad hoto hoto ne. Kita <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
After a very productive and successful round of meetings in which a lot of ground was covered, we have an agreement between the Republic of Indonesia and the Republic of Portugal on the question of East Timor. Leave the ministers here unless they both want to say something brief. I look forward to concluding this historic process on 5 May uh, this year. Attorney General. <laughs> It is uh, for us on the Portuguese side very important that uh, these steps can uh, lead to a solution for the problem of East Timor, a lasting one, and that uh, peace can be restored there in order to allow a consultation on the future of the territory. Thank you, Mr. Secretary General. I do. Uh would like to say how pleased. So uh, we are very much looking forward to the signing of uh, the main agreement, its annex on the proposed autonomy plan, and the two agreements on security arrangements and the uh, uh, modalities of the consultation process on the 5th of May. Uh, under the, we are still uh, waiting for a final confirmation of the security arrangements. Um, but at that time, the UN presence will definitely be there. Uh, and uh, we exactly what shape or form that will take has to be worked out.
self-determination was realized. Nearly 80% of the people voted for independence. In a show of courage and determination, the people of East Timor turned out in massive numbers to vote in the popular consultation, expressing their will as to the future of the territory. The votes cast have now been counted, and the Electoral Commission has assessed all outstanding complaints and certified the results of the popular consultation process. Therefore, in fulfillment of the task entrusted to me by the 5th of May agreements, I hereby announce that the result of the vote is 94,388 in favour and 344,580 against the proposed special autonomy. The people of East Timor have thus rejected the proposed special autonomy and expressed their wish to begin a process of transition towards independence. After 24 years of conflict, East Timor now stands on the threshold of what we all hope will be a process of orderly and peaceful transition towards independence. The coming days, however, will require patience and calm from the people of East Timor. I hardly need stress how important it is for leaders to exercise wisdom and reason. Now is the time for all concerned to seize the opportunity to lay a firm and lasting foundation for cooperation and peace 
and to usher in an era of stability and prosperity for all future generations of East Timorese. He is currently making the following statement to the Security Council on the result of the vote in East Timor. I call upon the government of Indonesia, which made possible the consultation process through a statesmanlike initiative of the President of the Republic to ensure its successful culmination by carrying out its responsibility to maintain law and order in the territory. I should like to thank both Indonesia and Portugal for their commitment and perseverance in this process. I am confident that the governments will fulfill their remaining obligations under the 5th of May agreements. Let me assure both governments that the United Nations will continue to work with them to ensure the implementation of the results of the consultation through a peaceful and orderly process. Let me also assure the people of East Timor that the United Nations will not fail them in guiding East Timor in its transition towards independence. I'm now going to ask my colleagues to read uh, the Secretary General's statement uh, in translation. civilian police to help uh, supervise the forthcoming uh, vote on uh, popular consultation in relation to the uh, independence issue. as it is an historic opportunity for them to shape their future, to join the international community as an independent nation, and to look ahead into the new millennium as a country 
that can assert and control its own destiny. We are determined that this exciting moment in the history of East Timor will not be derailed by the tragedy of the events that we have witnessed recently and will not be prevented by further bloodshed, the General of the United Nations. And I've also rung the foreign ministers of Australia and New Zealand, who are nearby powers. Responsibility for the future of East Timor's security still lies with the government of Indonesia. And they promised the international community that they would provide security during the ballot process and afterwards. But the international community must be ready to help the people of East Timor to build their future. And if the people of East Timor have voted for independence, they will need the help of the international community for the transition. This afternoon I have explored, Mr. Alatas, the role that might be played by United Nations Transitional Administration to see East Timor through to independence if that is the result of the ballot. I pressed Ms. Alatas to allow Shanana Guzma to return to East Timor as soon as possible in order that he can exercise a moderating influence in East Timor and help to resolve the present violence. Ms. Alatas confirmed to me that it is their intention to allow Shanana Guzma to return to East Timor by the 15th of September, but that they have not ruled out an early return and I press Ms. Anatas to allow Mr. Guzma to return sooner than the 15th in order that he can deal with the present critical situation there. Being taken in East Timor by General Waranto, the head of the Indonesian army. Thank you. Today, we still prove they come back to other country. We, of course, we still think of democracy. Of course, we will not refuse to be friendly with them. We not condemn their people. Their people don't understand. They soldier didn't understand. But to what the responsibility? What is they do? About the peace. If they understand about the justice. session is continue to conduct as previous session uh, because of the, uh, I think the Secretary of the United Nations Human Rights Council is still aware of the pandemic so that the manner of the, you know, conducting the, the session is like the previous session. So this is also the challenge for us but uh, we come up with uh, some of the um, uh, proposal here that we're going to do because we are celebrating of the the 60th anniversary of the uh, of the convention of the or resolution 1540s is already 60 years of the anniversary. But in case of the Western Sahara, we cannot help. You know, uh, we continue to to uh, request the responsibility of the United Nations to help to you know. <laughs>
Give the floor to Timor Leste. Madam President, Madam High Commissioner, I have the honor to deliver this statement on behalf of the Cross Regional Group of States. We fully respect the territorial integrity of the Kingdom of Morocco within its internationally recognized boundary, which does not include occupied non self governing territory of Western Sahara. We express once again, our deepest concern about the systematic human rights violation and breaches of international humanitarian law due to prolonged illegal occupation and annexation of part of the non-self-governing territory of Western Sahara by the Kingdom of Morocco. We also express our concern at the lack of the reliable information about the COVID-19 impact on Sahrawi people in occupied Western Sahara and on the Sahrawi, Sahrawi political prisoner held in Morocco prison. Madam President, we note with grievous disappointment the High Commissioner's persistent silence on the human rights situation in occupied Western Sahara, despite our repeat appeal. As we mark the 60th anniversary of UNGA Resolution 1514, we urge the High Commissioner to implement OP8 and OP22 of UNGA Resolution 74-95, and to resume without further delay the technical mission to Western Sahara. More than a year after resignation of the Secretary General Personal Envoy to Western Sahara, we call upon UN Secretary General to redouble his effort to appoint a sustainable person to facilitate negotiation between the two parties so as to enable MINURSCO to complete its mandate and organize the referendum on self-determination. I thank you, Madam President. Thank you very much.